Bro. I just woke up. Took a nap. Calm the goatee. <laughs> Dog. Look how just me combing got the got the I can make this bitch shake like strong. But bro. What's up with modern movies, bro? Like, what's up with modern movie pr promotion? What's up with that? Ever since I've been covering Godzilla and Kong, bro, I just realized, like, bro, it's like niggas don't even care about secrecy and, and people's, like, bro, you do realize, first off, bro, it's been some niggas in my comments, bro, who is the most inconsiderate niggas I ever met in my life. I'm talking about, like, they, they trying to get snappy with me about their preference, bro. I'm one of the generalized population of people who think they're showing too much. Bro, if you're spending your money to go watch something, don't you think you need to have some secrecy and an experience in the theater that you're spending your money on? Nigga, I don't know about you, but I'm spending money for two tickets. That's $40. Bro, I'm not about to... Of course I'm about to be upset. Now, maybe you don't got no money to go to the theater to get the experience. That's why you don't care. But, bro, just because you don't care about how much they show, like, they could spoil the movie for you and you don't care, that's because you don't have nothing. You don't. That's you. That's you. Bro, can you imagine if they, in, in the promotion for Infinity War, they showed everything. They showed the, the scene where Thor arrives to Wakanda. They show where Hulk gets beat up. They show where uh, Thanos wins. <laughs> they show where Thanos stab Iron Man. Can you imagine if they promoted this, bro? Can you imagine if they showed that in their promotions? Y yet alone, snapping his fingers in every... Could you imagine if they showed, like, two niggas getting dusted? Like, and you gotta... And, and the movie not even out yet. You gotta... You waiting for the movie to come out in theaters. And they showing all this in the promotion. That's not good. That wouldn't that. Just think about how much that would have messed up for that movie, bro. It would have messed up all the impact, all the all the hype it had for Endgame. Because let's be real. Endgame was lit, but Endgame was only as lit as it could be from the hype of the cliffhanger that left off with Infinity War. Because the villain won. Imagine if they would have exposed that. Bro, with them movies... They barely showed anything. Bro, them, them movies is miles longer than this movie. Godzilla and Kong is an hour and 55, and they showing, they showing content like this bitch is four hours, bro. This bitch is 155. You ain't even making the two hours, and you got to think. That's including the credits, nigga. That's like one hour and 40. That's including the credits. You know them credits be like 10, 15 minutes, bro. Bro. I'm about to read y'all some comments from these niggas. It's like, bro, how inconsiderate can you be? Like, just because you don't give a fuck, bro, does not mean that that shit is okay. Bro, you're showing too much. And it's like we at a point in time where it's everything is everywhere. Bro, it don't matter if I stay off YouTube. I'm going to see that shit somewhere. Like, I just saw... Nigga. I came to check my channel, bro. Load up the tube. Like, to be real, I shouldn't even be seeing spoilers on YouTube. If anything, I should be getting spoiled on Instagram or something. You know what I'm saying? Shit where niggas actually post shit. Bro, YouTube, bro. Come on, man. Let me show y'all a comment that these niggas... Hold on. If you look in my comment sections, bro, like 90% of niggas agree with me. But it's like that 10% of niggas who be like, me personally, I don't care if they show too much. of them. That's you, psychopath. That's you. That's you, bro. That's you. You being inconsiderate to everybody else. Bro, they showing too much, bro. Like, we, we you probably not in the group of people who spending money because you probably can't afford tickets to go watch that shit. But, bro, I want to go to the... Nigga. Like, 
obviously I'm gonna have a good time at the movie, but it wouldn't it it, it ain't it's not gonna be the most maximized fun like it would have been if I didn't see some of this shit I saw in the trailers and the TV spots in like, bro, when I watch these TV spots and trailers, I don't be expecting them to show revealing shit like that. I'm expecting them to promote their movie with minimum with minimum footage. Not show new shit. Bro, they showed something new every time. I, nigga, I went into these TV spots thinking they just about to, you know what I'm saying? Them niggas, like Shimo, nigga, in the Chinese trailer. Bro, what the fuck? What the fuck? Why would you show that? You went this long with keeping this motherfucker a secret just to reveal this nigga two weeks before the movie come out? Bro, you might have, you should have just showed this bitch th three months ago. I'm talking about, they trying to keep this bitch in their back pocket. And then you show this shit like two weeks before the movie come out. It's like you just slapping it in our face. Like, yeah, we, we, we ran the gag this long and like now we about to show y'all everything two weeks before the movie come out, a week before the movie come out. And then it's like, bro, I'm not going to lie, bro. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all boys. Y'all wanted me to react to that Godzilla versus Kong shit, right? Bro, I got spoiled on that shit already, bro. Before y'all commented on my videos asking for me to react to it, bro, I ain't going to lie. I already seen it. I seen the part where he meets Zuko. I'm going to call his ass Zuko, nigga. Not Zuko. Zuko. Zuko is harder. Nigga, I'm going to call that nigga Zuko from Avatar, nigga. Zuko, nigga. The Fire Prince, nigga. Prince, nigga. I seen that. It's no avoiding that, bro. It's 2024. You can't avoid that shit. Nigga. My passion is YouTube. I have to use YouTube, bro. When I load up YouTube, that shit is going to be there, bro. I'm like, there's no dodging that shit. Whether it's a thumbnail, whether I glance at, I'm going to see that shit, bro. Regardless, especially if I'm covering content on this shit, bro. It's inevitable, bro. I am. Look your eyes, bro. I seen it, bitch. Like, before I just started recording this video. Right now. I just seen something again when I loaded up the tube. And then you got these fucking idiots who put the spoilers in their thumbnail. It's like, bro, I know you want the clicks, bro. I know you trying to get the clicks, bro. But like, dog. Like when the shit, when the, like the Chinese trailer and shit, bro, nigga. You got to understand, bro. Some niggas is heartless, bro. Look at my trailer reaction to the Chinese trailer, bro. Like, I got a picture of Scar King behind Kong zoomed in with his mouth open. No ditty. Bro. Everybody who reacted to that Chinese trailer or dropped the Chinese trailer video, you knew them niggas was about to eat that thumbnail up with that Chimo looking at Kong blasting that shit, bro. Like, they did not. They don't give a fuck, bro. I was not going to do that. I'm like, bro. I'm not finna be one of these thumbnail farming ass niggas, bro. Like, when you do that shit, bro, you spoiling niggas already just by them scrolling. Like, like they don't even gotta watch the video to get spoiled because you put the spoilers in the fucking picture and shit, bro. That's why when certain games or some shit come out, I gotta... Bro, listen, bro. If I'm waiting to play a game or, like, I don't want to get spoiled on a video game, but I follow Let's Play channels and shit... Bro, it's inevitable before them niggas put some spoilers in them. Like, thumb, they, they, they put moments in them thumbnails. Bro, the fact that the titles alone, Shimo review, like, bro, you wouldn't even know Shimo was in the trailer I reacted to until you watched the reaction, bro. I ain't put not, I could have been one of them niggas who put us. Uh, I could have been one of them, uh, them, them thumbnail farming ass niggas, bro. You know what I'm saying? I could have put, it, bro, nigga, everybody got the same shit. Shimo standing over with the little hooks on his neck and shit. Looking at Kong. Everybody, when that Chinese trailer dropped, bro, everybody put that as their thumbnail. And that's one of the most revealing moments. So much shit happened, bro. Bro, it's some people who's trying to dodge these trailers, bro. It's some people who trying to scroll past this shit without seeing anything, but the thumbnails already got the shit. 
They don't even gotta click on the video, bro. Nigga, I'm nigga. I'm talking about. I'm getting on YouTube, nigga. I'm seeing fucking thumbnails of Zuko eating breakfast and shit, bro. I just saw a thumbnail, bro. My nigga. Like, this the heartless shit I'm talking about, bro. Like, niggas don't care. Niggas, niggas be farming for views. Bro, I don't be doing that. I'm not going to react to it neither. Because it's like... I'm not going to react to it neither on my channel. Because it's like, bro, it's probably some people who watch my channel who in the same boat as me. But I'm not going... I'm not one of them people who like, fuck it. If I seen it, you got to see it too. I'm not one of them type of people, bro. That's goofy and that's lame as fuck. That's heartless, bro. That's inconsiderate, bro. It's, it's some people who watching my shit. Man, listen, bro. Like, dog. I had to tell this nigga, um, listen, shout out to you, bro. Uh, KDV Gaming. But, bro, bro, every time something drop, bro, do not, like, comment that shit, bro. Like, that's a spoiler alone. Like, I, I keep forgetting I'm on the internet and everybody don't got the same mindset process like me, bro. But it's like, bro, I be thinking everybody going to have the same, like, everybody would know not to, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, that's like saying, react to the part, react to the trailer where Godzilla punches Shimo. Like, bro, come on, bro. You already spoiling this shit. What, what you commenting, bro? Come on, bro. We not supposed to know this shit. Like, yeah, I know Kong vs. Godzilla gonna happen, but, bro, come on, bro. Like, react to Kong vs. God... Why? And then it's like, bro, why do you want me to react to that? It's like, do, do y'all niggas not care about my experience in the movie? Like, I'm still a person in it. I know I'm on YouTube in y'all perspective, but, bro, I, I, bro, I'm still a person. Like, I still want to go to the movie and experience this shit. If I'm not dropping a video, like, bro, you don't think I'd be on top of that shit? You don't think I know this shit? Bro... If, bro, come on, bro, I know y'all fuck with me, and I know y'all fuck with the reactions, but, bro, I'm not going to react to every single thing, bro. That's ruined. That's just killing my experience, bro. Like, some of y'all niggas don't give a fuck. It was one nigga in this comments who actually said some shit, and I'm like, damn, bro, this nigga actually human. He understand this shit. Man, I got to find that shit, dog. I gotta find it. Fuck. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Um. Like, bro, look. KDV Gaming. Bro, I, I fuck with you, bro. You 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 been on the channel. You've been showing love. But bro, this, this shit right here is like a one-sided mindset. Like you not being considerate for everybody. This nigga commented and said, and react to Kong meets Suko. And the Kong gets Beast Glove. And the Kong versus Godzilla fight. But you probably editing the videos while I'm already typing it. You see what I'm saying? You see how these niggas see me on here, bro? They see me like one of these niggas. Bro, I'm a regular nigga like y'all, bro. I want to save my experience, bro. I understand you want to see my reaction, but bro, I'm not going to watch that sh every fucking thing, bro. N nigga, you do know I gotta pay money to go watch this shit. I'm basically watching this bitch for free on the trailers and TV spots. Bro, and on top of that, newsflash, this ain't no fucking MonsterVerse channel, brother. This a Dig Aloud channel, brother. Uh, listen, bro, look. Bro, I'm I'm appreciative. I'm appreciative. I'm I'm glad I did reactions to this movie because this was something I cared about. And I told myself, fuck the videos these niggas want you to do. Do what you passionate about, and that shit gonna come. And I was real passionate about that. I just happened to be a fan. I'm a nigga, bro. I just fuck with that shit. I'm not no dedicated channel to that shit though. I'm just a nigga who fuck with it, and I dropped some videos on it. And little do you know, that shit just blessed the fuck out of my channel, bro. I got ten thousand views, eleven thousand views, and thousands of views. Nigga, I was at 400 some subs in in February, a month and a, in a month and a couple of days ago. When that second trailer dropped, I dropped that on a Wednesday. Man, when that shit hit like a Saturday, bro, man, that bitch started jumping for no reason randomly. I went, 
I got a hundred subscribers and like one bro. I was at four hundred subs. Like I'm appreciative, but bro, for y'all new niggas, for y'all monsterverse niggas, I'm sorry, it's not gonna be like that. The next video I do on this shit is my movie review, and that's it, bro. Bro, the movie come out in three days, bro. What the fuck, bro? Like, how much shit you want me to react to? It's like, bro, I understand I'm y'all content, nigga, and entertainment, nigga, but, bro, I'm still a human. I'm still a regular person, too. I want to have regular niggas' experiences, too. I'm a regular nigga. Boy, I'm, I'm not one of these. I'm never, listen, bro. I'm never going to be one of these YouTubers who act like they, like, Untouchable Like these celebrities Them the motherfuckers That people envy bro People who act like They not regular people Bro I'm a regular nigga Just like y'all I don't wanna sit here And watch TV spots On a movie I'm genuinely excited about All fucking day I Like I still want Some room for my experience As a person bro Now if I was a heartless ass nigga Bro every single one And look, look listen I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I'm confident if I would have reacted to that, the, the the Godzilla versus Kong, that would have got views. If I would have reacted to Kong meets Suko, that would have got views. Kong gets Beast Glove, that would have got views. That same shit you just told me that to, I could have milked that. I'm at 925 subscribers right now. Bro, I would have been well over 1,000 if I reacted to that. I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm a regular person. My time will come when my time will come. I'm when you get the milk and shit, bro. That's when you lose your humanity and shit, bro. Even even though it's like something as simple as this, I'm just saying, like, if I was to do, look at these reaction channels, bro. They be trying to get shit quick. They be trying to get on top of shit quick. They they losing themselves in this shit. Let me be one of the first niggas to react to this shit, bro. I'm gonna do that shit when I want to do that shit. Cause if they fuck with you, they gonna wait for your reaction regardless. Or they gonna understand that you don't wanna watch that shit because you're a human. Bro, I would never do that shit to myself, bro. I make the videos I wanna make, bro. I'ma keep myself grounded in this shit. They not asking the questions that need to be asked, bro. Why are y'all niggas who got invited to see the movie early still on here reacting to TV spots as if you blindly waiting to see the movie like us? Bro, you seen this shit already. You know exactly what he doing in that moment. You know why he doing it in that moment. You know what time he doing it in that moment. Like, why are you trying to milk these views, bro? You have an audience, bro, that still ain't seen this shit yet, bro. And maybe some people don't want to see, like, no more footage. But that's part of the problem. You could have just seen hella reaction videos for this movie, bro. But I'm not doing that. Because I know it's people who watch me. And on top of that, bitch, I've been complaining they showing too much. Bro, all, you know how to say all money ain't good money, bro. All views ain't good views. Bro, you watch this shit already. That's fake as hell. That's phony. You trying to, you trying to sit and pretend like you don't know what this moment is, bro. Nigga, you seen the movie. Why you trying to react to this TV spot like you ain't seen this shit? Like you don't know what this is, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? That's fake as fuck. That's fake, bro. That's fake as fuck to me. That's phony. You actually making a video on this t nigga? You watched the movie like a week or two ago. Why are you trying to pretend like you don't know what this is? Like nigga, you seen this movie? You seen this whole part without the edits and the cuts for this TV spot? You seen that whole shit live in the movie? You seen it? Milking views. I'm telling you, these motherfuckers milk views, bro. As little as my channel is, and as much buzz as I've been getting, I could have been doing that same shit, but I'm not doing that. <laughs> I ain't never going to be a YouTuber like that, bro. I care about movies. I care about my audience. And I try to keep as much secrecy as possible. I reacted to as much as I wanted to, bro. I stopped it at some point. And even when I stopped it, I still kept getting spoiled and shit. And I kept seeing shit. Felt like the fighting temptations in this bit. I felt like Tyrone Biggums in this bit. Ah! Like, they keep... Bro, nigga, I do YouTube. I do YouTube, I watch content, I watch videos, I can't avoid that shit. Bro, every time I open this fucking app on my phone, it's gonna be there, bro. Anything new, if I just refresh the homepage, mm, mm, uh, Kong jacks off Godzilla, <laughs> like, that bitch gonna be right there. Bro, I'm not gonna tell y'all what I got spoiled on today, but it's like, bro, come to, and then it's like, bro, why are y'all still showing new footage anyways, bro, why?
Why, bro? The movie, nigga, it's three days. Nigga, it's three days. If you want to be technical, the 28th, bro, Thursday, niggas can go see that shit. Bro, it's three days, bro. We don't need no more fucking footage, bro. I can't, I'm not going to tell y'all what I saw, but bro, they had the spoiler in the fucking thumbnail, bro. Why would you? That's why I be saying, like, nigga, y'all niggas is milking views, bro. Like, it's no avoiding the spoilers, bro. Like, I did not want to see that, bro. Can you at least be considerate and not put it in your fucking thumbnail, bro? I'm talking about my nigga got that shit 4K HD paused. I can't tell y'all what it is, bro. But, like, man, bro, I'm not an asshole, bro. Man, I am an asshole. Man, that bit was Godzilla broke his big toe. Now nah, let me stop playing. <laughs> it was some bullshit though, for real. I ain't even gonna lie to you, my nigga. It is what it is, though, man. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't, I'm not tweaking on it, dog. I'm trying to keep my head in good spirits, bro. I'm still going in this movie and have a good time, bro, and enjoy this shit, bro, and and, and just and do the best with what I didn't see, man. But I'm not gonna lie, I did get spoiled on um Zuko hanging out with Kong, like feeding them breakfast and shit. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually not mad at that. That's the shit they should have been promoting. Shit like that is shit we should have seen. Like, okay, we they showing all the action with the monsters. They shows they should have been promoting like Mosuko and Kong, make it look like that. Get their dynamic up, get us looking forward to that. Like it's gonna be an emotional attachment aspect to it. Like Cause right now like a dumb fun movie, but they could have took a more serious route and just showed the scenes with like Kong and Suko. But I, I I actually seeing that seeing this nigga eat breakfast and shit with this nigga, I'm actually more excited to just see them niggas chilling. I want to see that dynamic. I want to see how he become how how that relationship elevate. Cause from what it looked like, it looked like they not gonna get along at first, and like over time. Kong wanna fuck with him, but that little nigga annoying at the same time type shit. That's what it looked like. And the little nigga that's annoying look like he only being annoying because of what he know from other niggas and shit, how they treat him. So he got to understand that Kong not like that. And it's like they just got a man that relationship. That 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 look like a hard ass storyline, bro. I'm actually excited to see that shit. That shit look clean as fuck. Most deaf. <laughs> it's reality. <laughs> hey, man, look, dog. I don't know what I'm going to call this video. I don't know what it was. I was talking about movie promotions, but I ended up just going on a rant, man. Like, I'm just thinking about movies going forward in general. And it's like, bro, I'm thinking about the monster versus well. Like, any new movie that come out, it's going to be the same shit. Like, nigga, they did this last year. They did this in 2021 with Godzilla versus Kong. Bro, they had hella TV spots. I'm talking about, nigga, this before I was reacting to this shit. Bro, Every time I opened up my YouTube, it was a new TV spot on that shit. Like, damn, another, uh, another one, another one, another one. My nigga DJ Khaled in his bed, Khaled DJ in his bed, DJ Godzilla in his bed, DJ Kong in his bed, another one. My only thing that I wish they would have kept a, a, a secret, even though everybody knew, but not everybody knew. Only like hardcore niggas like me knew. <coughs> Shimo, bro. They should have kept that under wraps. They could have. <coughs> it's like, how the fuck do you keep this a secret for three, four months? And then... Right before the movie come out, now you want to start showing hella shit on this nigga. Like, come on, bro. <coughs> Damn. That was my only issue, though, bro. But listen. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. All right, bro. Appreciate the love and support. All right, bro. <coughs> Somebody talking crazy. I don't need y'all to see no snot dripping down my... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn, damn, damn. Damn, 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 damn. damn. Damn, bro. My allergies just start hitting. Listen, I'm going to holler at y'all in this. All right, bro. Appreciate the love and support, bro. I'm looking forward to this movie. Y'all definitely going to get that movie review. And I'm going to holler at y'all in this. All right, bro. Appreciate the love and support, bro. Stay loud. Stay safe. I love y'all boys and girls, man. Like, I'm about to cry, nigga. <laughs>
Chin fucking deuces. Chin fucking deuces, the deuces, deuces. My, I ain't gonna lie. I'm really mainly excited just to hear them niggas roar. Like, I just want to hear Godzilla roar the whole movie. And I, I just want to hear Kong. I, bro, Kong roar. Like, it's starting to get iconic, bro. Like, when I heard that shit in G GVK, that shit was clean as... Like, that, like I don't know how he do... Bro, that's a, that's a clean-ass roar. That's a clean-ass roar. I can't wait to see Godzilla, boy. I ain't gonna lie, boy. I want... I want it. Oh, I know Zilla going you. I know he gonna hold his own against you. Oh, I can't wait to see Godzilla throw some hands in this man. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I was born and I grinded on my way to the top. Brody in the cut and you know he got the mop. Shawty want to hang, better give me up some top. He a lame, hit his brain, hit him in his top. Say he like the flame, but you know I like the box. Copy in his lane, fuck.